Welcome back to my Live Below Revolution guide. In this guide, I'm going to be talking about uh, alchemy slash brewing and also the witch and how to witch grind as well. So let's start off with what is alchemy? Alchemy is using materials that you collect throughout the game and them and different areas of the game. Throw them into a brewer slash alchemy to craft slash brew something else that was used for unlocking and upgrading items such as unique leaves and also uh, crafted leaves as well. So let's go over how exactly do we uh, farm all these materials and farm which as well. I'm going to start over with farming materials as this is going to be the first thing that you're going to do with alchemy. So with material grinding, if we go to Leaf Galaxy here, we can find that each different area here spawns at least two different types of materials. So if we go into our home garden, which is the first area that we have access to, we spawn logs or wood and also mushrooms. Each area does have two, so you will have to go to each area to unlock those materials and collect those materials. There is also a section called the Dark Glade, which gives you all materials but a reduced spawn rate, meaning that if you want to AFK overnight and collect all materials, you will AFK in the Dark Glade, which costs some materials to begin with, but you're able to get all materials at the same time. So now once we've done that on how to get materials, let's go over the alchemy tab slash brewing tab. There are going to be three different tabs, but the ones we're going to be mainly focusing on are going to be the general tab and the curses tab, but mainly the general tab. With Once you've first unlocked alchemy, all these things are going to be locked and to unlock them requires a uh, a more amount or less amount depending on the thing that you want to brew of that material. For example, Cosmic Essence uh, will require 100 cloud and 100 dark matter to unlock, but create, but to actually brew it needs 20 of each to create Cosmic Essence. Other things that are going to be helpful here are going to be brewing scrolls and shards, which is massive. The next tab is going to be curses. Curses is if you have excess materials, you can use 100 cheese and 100, uh, sorry, 1000 material to create 666 curses, which is going to be useful if you have excess material and you need curses for damage. The next tab is going to be relics, which you use sacred leaves and shards to brew relics, which is a late game. Uh, mechanic that is not very relevant for when you first unlock brewing. So let's go over how to increase our rate of material gain. There are also some quality of life things that we're going to be needing to have or don't have but depending on stage of the game it does not really matter but there is one upgrade that I would highly recommend you get straight away while unlocking alchemy. These are going to be in the gem shop. The first ones are going to be these two brew upgrades. These are going to be uh, not essential, but will become essential the further you go on through alchemy and brewing. These are going to be increasing critical brew, uh, brews by 1% and decreasing alchemy brew time. Uh, critical brews is meaning that if you do hit this uh, chance, brew crit chance, your brews are going to be doubled giving it a two times multiplier. And if you get up to the stage where you have over 100 critical brew chance, it will turn into a three X multiplier if you roll technically a double crit. Super stir here, which decreases by 2% brew time, is just what it says, decreases the brew time of uh, brewing, which I think by default is 30 seconds. The other thing, which is digging. Digging can also help with gaining materials and artifacts as well. But the main things that we're going to be focusing on here are going to be these material upgrades. The one that I highly recommend that you get first is going to be the material magnet. With this material magnet, uh, all the materials on screen will magnetize towards the player and automatically collect them. You cannot AFK materials if you do not have the material magnet, 
as there is a cap of 50 sort of objects on screen at once, excluding leaves. So once the 50 uh, materials have spawned on screen, the additional materials cannot spawn. So I would highly recommend you get that material magnet first. The next ones can be in any order, but, the, but some handy ones are going to be in the material finder, which increases the chance of materials to spawn by 100%. We have material storage, which increases material storage by 500, 500 per level. And also daily shipment here, which ship which every day from your daily rewards. Each level of this gives you 50 of all spawnable materials, which does not include essences. Those are all the gem upgrades and quality of life upgrades that you really need to know for materials and to essence farming. So some additional ways that we're going to be gaining more material rate and spawn chance is going to be through our pets and our tool shops down here the, and our scrolls. So let's begin with unique leaves because there is one unique leaf that is going to help us through here. And that's going to be the alchemy leaf. <clears throat> and this leaf is just going to increase our crit chance and, and re reduction in brew time. We're going to go into our pets here and there's going to be two pets to help us gain increased materials. These pets are going to include Ducko, which increases the base spawn chance of materials by 1%. It's only 1%, but this will be a big increase in rate of material gain. The next one is going to be to, uh, Tucano, which for, collects two materials each minute for you, which is great, especially if just unlocked uh, alchemy. Also, we're going to need to make sure that we have our butterfly O on, as this will all further increase the effectiveness of those pets. Another thing that I forgot to mention in our unique leaves <clears throat> is that when you upgrade them, once you get those essence, you will get a uh, essence, uh, not essence, you'll get materials per minute or second, <clears throat> as we'll see when we click on our question mark here, and we get to get random materials plus a very low amount per second. This is very helpful because this will add up with all our unique leaves once we upgrade them to get a passive amount of materials and this will start to add up over and over again. The next area that will help us gain more materials is going to be in our scrolls. Once we have our material scroll here, it will increase our material spawn rate by 5%. This may not seem much, but it's a big help and even at my stage, it will increase the amount of materials that I'll be gaining from about 9,000 to about 12,000, which is very helpful. And also make sure we have our pet scroll on as well. Now we have this materials tab at the top. This will tell us all the materials and essences that we have at the moment, as well as our base spawn chance, current spawn chance, and our materials per hour. So as we can see, none of them are going to be active at the moment due to me being in the pub here. But if we go to the Dark Glade uh, down here, we can go back to our Materials tab and see that we get roughly 2,200 or, or about 1,500 per uh, material, which is very great. So another thing that we need to have a focus on to get more material gain is going to be our tool shop. If we upgrade our tools, we gain more increased base spawn chance. And this is going to be our main way of gaining more materials outside of those upgrades that we get in the top from our unique leaves and pets. If we click on a question mark here from the advanced leaf blower, which uses, I uh, can't remember, let's go to the dark matter one right here, which is the leaf powered leaf blower. Material spawn chance of dark matter at level 128 is going to be 12.8% increase, which may not seem too much, but it is a massive increase of materials. So if you just have excess materials, you want to be upgrading our tools to gain more damage and also gain more spawn chance of that material. That is all for gaining materials. So we're going to be going on to actually alchemy and essences. <clears throat> so let's go to our general tab here and we're going to be crafting our essences and we need 
And after each craft of our essence, we get five essence. Once we've crafted 30 of those essences per each, we can craft one dark matter. <coughs> Sorry, just a bit of a dry throw here. So once we do this, once we've crafted 30 essences per each essence, we can create five dark matter. We also need 2.5 E4 cheese as well. <coughs> once we've done that and we've kept farming our dark essence, we can go down and we can brew shards, unlock and brew shards, which is going to be our main way of increasing our properties on our leaves, crafted leaves, which is going to be big, especially if we're going to want our damage to be witch and also get our maximum amount of farming out of witch. <coughs> so once we've done, uh, got our dark essence, we need 50 dark essence. 1e5 cheese and beer to create three shards so hopefully that you've got your tgm leaves ready to go for alchemy once we've got our shards we can get those shards back into our leaves increasing our tgm so after we've done that we are ready to witch farm now what witch farm is besides grinding all the materials to uh, brew the essences and then get those essences to brew dark matter we can kill witch and get essences straight away to demonstrate this we can go to the cursed cocoa paki sorry for the pronunciation but we can go here we can kill the boss here we can go to our notifications and see that i got 1.26 e3 essences of each essence <clears throat> This won't be this much. I think the default for someone who's uh, killed the witch first is going to be around five, but there are ways to increase this amount. Once we start farming witch, I highly recommend you start working on a uh, WEM set or a witch essence multiplier, which I have on right now. So we go to crafting and we go to here. <coughs> At the moment, per uh, leaf, I'm getting 721.22% more witch essence per kill per leaf, which means I'm getting a lot of witch essence per kill. I'm also getting more from cards as well, which will also help you get more essence. This essence will help you brew more dark matter and make you brew more shards and more special shards depending on which stage of the game that you're at drastically increasing the shard gain that you get and also anything else that you want to craft as well especially with essence and dark matter so i highly recommend you get a wem set and also a witch curse set which is witch curse multiplier if you want to farm curses as the witch also drops curses on kill um, that is all I believe. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention to actually kill witch. You need about 2e25 damage uh, to kill witch. But to kill witch, you actually, with that amount of damage, you need a grav ball plus wind combo. What that does is if we go to our artifacts, we can go wind and grav ball. This moves all the balls, uh, so all the leaves into the center, which what grav ball does. And then the wind, what wind does, as if it hits an enemy or the leaf blows off the screen, the leaf will instantly respawn, meaning that you can get the maximum amount of damage out of your grav ball. To fully AFK the witch, you need about two or one E7 dam uh, E27 damage which is a little bit higher but hopefully after you get those essence farming from the witch you're able to quickly get enough damage to farm it that is sorry before we also go as well there is some additional upgrades in the ancient shop to get these include material finder material duplicator witch revival and witch essence essences the material finder increases base spawn chance of materials by five percent per level Material duplicator spawns one additional material for level. We have witch curses, which increases the curses from the witch per level by 11. We have witch essences, which increases witch yields of essence by one per level, which is really helpful because getting this will basically triple the amount of essence you get. Witch reviver decreases the spawn rate, sorry, increases the spawn rate of the witch by 1% per level 
which is very helpful if you want to farm it. That is all for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and make sure you like and subscribe as well. I'll catch you on the next one.